guys welcome back happy new year i hope you guys all had a wonderful new year celebrating with family friends loved ones hanging out at home just chilling eating relaxing drinking whatever it is that you did <laughs> i hope you had a good time doing it also i hope you had a very merry christmas um but yeah here we are in 2020 okay starting out fresh <laughs> And I'm really excited to be doing this video. Okay, so many of you guys know that I have been going through my makeup or basically palette collection by color because I wanted to do it a little bit differently than just showing all of my palettes at once or everything in my makeup collection at once. So today, as you can see, it is blue day. <laughs> so I've gathered all of my blue eyeshadow palettes, but I also have some palettes in here that have blues in them that I think are mentioned or noteworthy. Even though it's not a completely blue palette, there's blues in there that uh, are really, really pretty. So, I just want to kind of run through these really quickly. I don't want this video to be super long. I was thinking as I was pulling my blue palettes today that I don't know how many more colors of palettes that I have, you know, specifically to go through. I did my purples. I did my greens. Today I'm doing blues. I know I have some that are kind of like warm neutrals and some that are kind of like really burgundy or red or kind of mauve based so i might put those all together in one and then after that i'm thinking it's probably going to have to just be rainbow palettes and then maybe by brand so like all of my color pop palettes or all of my morphe palettes kind of like that because as far as just complete color palettes i think that will do it <laughs> so I want to just go ahead jump right in i may as well start with a palette that i have on my eyes today um and i almost forgot about it because i put all my stuff away so i can do my video this is the melt muerte palette okay now you guys already know i'm in love with this palette i think it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's to die for so you don't need to sit here and listen to me go on and on about this palette again <laughs> but this is what this palette looks like on the inside just in case you've been under a rock this holiday season this is this beautiful color story in this palette now although it's not a blue palette i think there's a substantial amount of blue tone shades in here with the blues and the teals that this can go in my blue collection as well as my red collection so this i did use for this look today i did do a video so look out for that eventually whenever i go ahead and edit it so that's first my melt muerte okay so next <laughs> this is not necessarily a palette but you know how melt has their stacks this is the blueprint stack from melt and Y'all, I just had to have this. When I when it came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It's so bomb. It's so beautiful. But I didn't have any palettes or shadows from Melt. So I was really excited to get some from Melt. And this is what it looks like. It comes in this little magnetic quad. And then one has a mirror, which I never use this small thing. But yeah, it comes in this cute little quad. And each quad has two shadows in it. So although this is not completely blue, it has this stack here with this brown and gold. It has this stack here with another brown and a lighter shimmer. Well, a gold tone shimmer and a lighter shimmer. And then it has this really pretty blue, you know, dark blue and light blue shimmer. And then it has this one here that has the dark blue matte and a really pretty dark blue shimmer so although i really love this stack when i used it it's not the easiest to work with <laughs> okay not the easiest shadows to work with but you know i love pigment so i'm willing to fight the battle <laughs> to get the pigment but yeah i was really happy because mine came in all one piece a lot of people um had issues with theirs breaking but mine came all in one piece and I really need to play around with this some more because I've only used it like twice and 
this stack wasn't cheap okay melt is not a cheap brand <laughs> so that's that next i don't know if you would consider this a blue palette the ColourPop mar palette um this is when they first started doing these cute little you know plastic nine pan palettes before they really came out with all the monochromatic palettes i did go ahead and grab this one because i do love blues and this one does have some really beautiful blues and teal shades in here so it's not necessarily a blue palette but i definitely would think of this when wanting to create a blue look it has your nice neutrals that you can use to smoke out or blend your blue shades with so I think this is a really pretty palette and I haven't used this in a long time either. I actually kind of forgot about it. <laughs> so it's kind of good doing these videos because I'm able to dig through my collection and be like, oh yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> so this here is my Beauty Glazed Neptune palette. I have not used any of these palettes still. I keep saying that I need to use them because I have all five of these palettes. These are like dupe palettes for the Huda Beauty little, you know, miniature palettes. And these palettes get pretty good reviews. So, and I've used Beauty Glazed, you know, myself, other palettes, and I really love them. So this is one that I really need to use as much as i love blue though it's kind of like i have to be in the mood <laughs> you wouldn't think so but i do kind of have to be in the mood to come in and sit down and do a full-on blue look so yeah that's kind of why a lot of these or not a lot a few of these palettes i haven't used now this is the color pop blue moon this has been out for a little while but this is actually brand new to my collection this is one of my Black Friday holiday sales purchases. There were a few of these monochromatic palettes from ColourPop that I kind of pumped my brakes on because I was like, I don't need that. So I'm not going to pay full price for them. But as soon as they announced their, you know, holiday discounts, I went ahead and grabbed it because I love blue and I've been wanting this palette. So now I have it to play around with. Okay, next, this palette here is actually one of my absolute favorites when it comes to blues. This is my Face Candy Atlantis palette. A lot of people are familiar with this palette because this was Face Candy and Shop Hush's answer to Tarte's April Fool's palette, okay, that they kind of teased on Instagram and then <laughs> said, ha ha, just kidding. Face Candy was like, ah, the joke's on you. <laughs> so they came out with this bomb palette and everybody was like, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. So yeah, if you were familiar with Shop Hush and Face Candy and stuff back then, then you might have this palette if you like blue, but one of my absolute favorites. And I think for most of these palettes, if I have used them nine times out of 10, there is a video up. So that's why I'm not really swatching because if you want to see the swatches or actual um, use of the palette, then search my playlist or search my channel, my name and that palette name. And if I used it, it will come up. Now this one here, I have not used yet. This is another one of the Affiano. <laughs> I always say it wrong. Affiano palettes that I got off of Amazon. I have a purple one, an orange one, a green one, and this blue one. And for the most part, all of them have performed very nicely. I mean, for $10 palettes, I think I paid like $9.99 for these palettes. And they're really nice palettes. <laughs> they really are. Um, they have a lot of glitter in them though. So if you don't like glitter in your palettes, then you probably won't like these because all of them, I would say, have at least two to three glitters in them. So, but they're very pretty and I actually have pulled this out to use today, but I don't know, my Muerte was talking to me. So I went ahead and used my Muerte palette instead. Ugh, you guys, that palette is so nice. I know it's expensive, but I love that palette. So hopefully I will get to that Affiano palette soon. This is the Certify 
Affinity 2 palette. I have the Affinity 1, which has like the oranges and purples and pinks and stuff. This one is the Certify Affinity 2. So this one has like the blues and the greens. And I cannot believe I have not used this palette yet. <laughs> you guys, this palette is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I think I showed this also in my green palette collection video because as you see, you can see there's beautiful greens in there along with the blues. But yeah, I'm really, really shocked that I have not used this palette yet because it's so pretty, but it's definitely on my 2020 to-do list. Now you guys, I have a million palettes and I'm not even gonna lie, okay? I have been shopping my Patushi off. Ever since Black Friday, you know, went down and Christmas and New Year's and, you know, Sephora and Ulta with they battling 20% coupons and stuff. I've been shopping like crazy. Any brands, I don't know, but I just, it's been a hot mess. So I'm definitely going to do a haul video. It probably won't be until like maybe the second week of January because I'm still waiting for stuff to come in, <laughs> but my reasoning behind my shopathon is because I'm really, really serious about going on a low buy for 2020. I was actually almost tempted to do a no buy for 2020, but I'm not trying to torture myself, okay? So this is the Ace Beauty uh, Oceanic. Very, very popular palette amongst the blue-green theme. So as you can see, absolutely gorgeous blues in here. If you are familiar with Ace Beauty or this palette or blue palettes or anything of the such, you already know about this palette. Gorgeous. I love this palette, you guys. It is so bomb. Just the looks that you can create. But yeah, like I was saying, I was like seriously thinking about a no buy, but I was like, you know what? Don't even do that to yourself. But I'm really serious about a low buy. I really want to be very, very particular with the palettes that I buy in the future with everything that I buy in the future really but because palettes are my weakness that's what I kind of focus on um things like foundation powders concealers blushes highlights mascaras all kind of stuff like that even if I really really see something I want I'm going to try to pump my brakes because I have enough to last me a lifetime so I'm going to try and go through some of my products this year like really use up what I have to the best of my ability you know and since I know that I'm definitely going to want to buy certain palettes when they come out I'm just going to be very very particular with the palettes that I purchased. So I'm not going to put any crazy strict rules on myself because I know that I shop like crazy when it comes to makeup. So honestly, you know, I know what to do <laughs> to limit myself. You know, I have to ask myself a lot of questions, not buy things right when they come out. Um, and it's not even necessarily a thing of, oh, do I already have this in my collection? Because let's be honest, I have everything every color, every texture, every shimmer, every matte I have in my collection. So it doesn't even make sense for me to ask myself that at this point. So it really is something where the palette really has to speak to me. It really has to touch my heart. Or I really have to feel like this is something that would be beneficial on my channel. Like I really know you guys want to see it. So I'm going to get it so I can test it out for you guys. But other than that, like if I see something and it's just pretty and I really like it, nine times out of 10, I'm not going to get it because I'm just not. Okay, so moving on. This here is a beautiful blue tone palette from my status quo uh, collection of palettes. I have six of these, I believe. Six, five, I don't know. Five or six of these. I just did a video reviewing one of these. Ugh. Ugh. Those shadows, bomb, okay? But yeah, this is my blue-based one. And this one is called, this one is called BF. So they had these on sale, really reasonably priced. I picked some up because I wanted to test out their formula. I had never heard of, um, they're called Unique Beauty. Unique Beauty, and they have these status quo palettes. 
I had never heard of them until I saw them on Instagram and I was like, oh, that's pretty. So wanted to try their formula out. I grabbed a few and the one that I've used so far, I really like. So um, I really, really want to use these palettes, but it's kind of funny. I really want to depot them because some of the color stories, I don't like the shades that they put together. So I kind of want to arrange them the way I want to arrange them. So but I'm scared to depot them because they do break easy. Okay, next I have my Elf Earth and Ocean palette. <laughs> this is kind of new to my collection. I mean, I've had it for maybe a couple of months, but I just recently used it. So it's still kind of new to me. I used it to create a look with the green side, which came out really pretty to me. But there's some beautiful blues in here. You know, hence the name Earth and Ocean. But, um, yeah, I really want to check out this blue side. As you can see, there's really only this bold blue right here, this light blue shimmer, and then some more muted blue tones in here, lighter gray tone blues. So it doesn't really speak to me, but I do believe I could create a really pretty blue look with this. So, yeah, this is the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. Next, I have here one of my Sephora Pro palettes, and it's not a quote-unquote blue palette, but there's a lot of beautiful blue in here that drives me wild, okay? This is my Smoky Jewels palette. Mm. 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 <laughs> I love this palette, and they actually, Sephora had these on sale recently, really discounted because these palettes are pretty pricey i think regularly they're like 68 bucks but sephora had them on sale for 45 bucks plus if you were rouge or vib you can get an additional 20 percent off the sale price so i did snatch up a few more from the sephora pro collection of palettes but yeah this one as you can see has some really gorgeous blues down here on the bottom Super duper pretty. I do have a video for this as well if you want to check it out. But this is one of my favorite palettes. A lot of people compare it to the Born to Run palette because the, the color scheme is very similar. But the difference for me is all the blues. This one has a lot of blue in it. So I love this palette. Once again, I have to bring out my Natasha Denona. This is, I never remember the name of this palette, but this is the blue purple palette. The one with the pretty white cover, pleather cover. And this is the blue purple one. So it has a purple side and it has a blue side. And y'all, <laughs> if you guys have not experienced Natasha Denona shadows and shimmers and all that, ugh, oh my goodness. You know what? Let me just, oh, Lord have mercy. Let me just just swatch a few of these shimmers for you. You see them shimmers? Lord have mercy. It's just, it's nothing like it. Yes, she is expensive as all get out. But honestly, there is nothing like her formula and her shimmers. I mean, Pat McGrath. Her shimmers are crazy as well, but I'm telling you, Natasha Denona, mm, 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 bomb, okay? So this is a really nice, <laughs> amazing quality palette that I can use if I want to sit down and feel bougie doing a blue look or a purple look. <laughs> if I really want to feel like I'm being bougie, then I sit down with one of these palettes because they are not cheap, but amazing shadows okay next this palette i only used one time i actually picked this up when i was out of town with my husband when he was working out of town i picked this morphe 35h up i just had to have it i was like oh my gosh it's so pretty gotta have it and i only used it one time and i really enjoyed using it <laughs> when i did but I forget about this palette. I forget about it all the time. But I just remembered it recently because I was like, you know what? I need to use that palette again. 
beautiful red shades, gorgeous blues, you know, some nice shimmers and transitions in here. Um, you have to be careful with this palette if you want to combine shades and stuff because they will turn purple, of course. But if you want to do a monochromatic blue, monochromatic red, gorgeous. But let me just give you a closer look. Beautiful, beautiful blue shades in here. Very, very pretty palette. Another palette that I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, that's a blue palette. It does have some really gorgeous blues in here. But if you're familiar with the Norvina volume 1, 2, 3, 12, and 18, <laughs> then you know that um, these palettes have a variation of colors in them. But this one, extremely blue and green heavy. Um, I don't even know if I mentioned this in my green video or not. But when I think of this palette, I think of blue. It could just be because of the packaging. But as you can see, there's some serious blues in this palette. Beautiful shades, gorgeous array, a lot of mattes. If you like mattes, it's beautiful matte blues in here. I love it. I love matte shadows. I love blues. And I do like Norvina's formula, even though it can be tricky to work with. So... Yeah, this palette, very, very pretty. I'm sure everyone is familiar with it. Very blue heavy. And this one is the, what is this, the three? No, this is the Norvina Volume 2. So those are all the palettes that I would say are quote unquote blue palettes. Like I said, I do have a lot of palettes that have gorgeous blues in them that I think are worth mentioning in this video because... There are palettes that I would reach for if I wanted a really pretty pop of blue as well. This one here is from Kaleidos. This one is the Futurism 3 and it's actually called the Astro Pink. But I really, really like <laughs> the blue shade that's in here. It is ridiculous. Okay, it is so gorgeous. So, so pretty. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of like an a iridescent type situation you see that it's like iridescent blue very very pretty gorgeous uh blue lid <laughs> it's really pretty so yeah i just wanted to mention this one because that blue in there is out of this world okay so next i have this tart High Tides and Good Vibes palette. <laughs> now, when this palette came out, I was freaking out. I don't know if you can see. I mean, the glare is going to mess it up. But inside the packaging, it has like a liquid in there that moves back and forth. Crazy. <laughs> so stinking cute. But y'all, look at this palette. Look at this palette. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I mean, if you don't like glitter, it might not do it for you. Oop, I didn't wipe that swatch off. <laughs> but this palette here, oh, you see that blue? Hello. And that glitter is kind of like a turquoise green glitter. But yeah. That blue, <laughs> you see, it's the same color as my shirt. Mm, and it smells good, too. <laughs> it smells like chocolate or something. But, yo, this palette here, yeah, the high tides and good vibes, gorgeous. And I know quite a few people pick that palette up, but I don't see a lot of people using it or talking about it. I think because it's, it's not the easiest palette to use. You know, they didn't go all out with a lot of transition shades and stuff. So it's not the easiest palette to use, but I love that that palette is bomb. Okay, next, another honorable mention is the Desi and Katie Francation palette. Okay, there is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue in here. You see this blue right here? It is, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that blue? Oh, so pretty. So yeah, I had to, had to mention this palette because that blue is 
crazy. Next honorable mention, Cheers to the Beauty from Colored Rain. This palette is humongous. <laughs> so, so huge. This palette is gorgeous. Do you see all these beautiful shades in here? Oh my goodness. The gold, the red, the blue, the green. Insane. Let me swatch some of these for you. Just in case you haven't been blessed by the colored rain fairy. Okay. And the green. Do you see that? Ugh. Colored rain does not play when it comes to their shadows. Okay. <laughs> but look at that blue. Oh my gosh, and these uh, that green as well. I should have mentioned this in my green video. I don't think I did. But yeah, that blue is just, yo, crazy. Next honorable mention, the Jamrock Rebirth palette. This is from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. If you watch my channel, you know I love her palettes because they are crazy pigmented. I did do a video using this palette maybe two <laughs> but i know i did one using this palette oh my gosh you guys crazy let me just swatch these blues <laughs> absolutely gorgeous oh, so so pretty oh that's gorgeous <laughs> I love her palettes because they are so pigmented. The shimmers are just bomb. Let me show you this green in here. And this orange. You see those shimmers? So pretty, so vibrant. And they're not like your typical shimmer shades, you know, like that green so vibrant and pretty that orange it's like a light orange really pretty light peachy orange gorgeous next i have my morphe 35v this is the stunning vibes palette and this is what this palette looks like so as you can see there are some gorgeous blues in this palette as well i like the tone of these blues they kind of it's not really like teal but they have more like that deep smokiness to them it has the beautiful bright ones as well but these over here they really give that kind of smoky feel so that's why i really like the blues in this palette very very pretty as well the rest of the palette i mean the purples are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous these beautiful warm fall shades are gorgeous but like all of this over here I could have done without. I don't even need this half of the palette. I don't, <laughs> I don't even need. But all of this over here, gorgeous. So, so pretty. Now, this is new to my collection. This is my Adept Single Shadow Palette. So, it, it holds all of my Adept Shadows. I've gone on this crazy single shadow <laughs> kind of um, depotting adventure. I'm still doing it. I took a little break, but... Yeah, I've been depotting like a lot of my palettes that I was thinking about decluttering. Instead of decluttering, I'm kind of going through deciding if I want any of the shadows and depotting them and tossing the rest. So I'm really like feeling single shadows right now. But this is my collection of adept, adept <laughs> single shadows. I love this thing. Oh my gosh. Just looking at all these colors is gorgeous. I can't wait to go in here and just start rearranging these shadows. I haven't done it yet because they're all in numerical order. So it's kind of hard for me to go in there and just start moving stuff around. But I definitely am going to do that. But I really wanted to just kind of swatch a few of the blues in here so you guys can see. Some of the other blues that I have in my collection as well that aren't just in palette form. So I'm just swatching some of the shimmers because they're the easiest for me to swatch right now. So these are some of the shimmers from Adept Cosmetics. 
if you are curious about their shadows or how they perform i do have two videos using these shadows so far so make sure you check them out but absolutely gorgeous and lastly as far as large palettes go like i said i have started depotting some of my own palettes and so these are some blue shadows <laughs> that i have actually started collecting from palettes that I have decided to depot. So as you can see, I have like a blue green thing going on right here, but I will be going through and kind of decluttering these as well. Once I kind of have the energy to sit down and swatch and go through these just to kind of narrow them down because I do have a lot. My singles collection is starting to seriously... <laughs> get crazy but yeah i'm still ordering singles because i want to try out some more indie brands and things like that so yeah those are my blue single shadows okay so like i do in all my collection videos i do want to show you some other items that i have in my collection that fall under the blue category I have a whole plethora of blue eyeliner, so I'm not going to sit here and go through all of them with you guys, but I did want to pull out two of my favorites that I really, really like to reach for whenever I want that bold pop of blue on my lower lash line. This one is from Profusion, and it's actually the shade Cobalt, and it came in a set of two. So this one is the liquid eyeliner topper, so that's what that looks like but i also have the cream gel liner for the lower lash line as well i don't know where i stuck that but these oh my gosh you want to talk about this exact color on your eye this exact color will be on your eye it's not dull it doesn't fade it's gorgeous like the same color as this shirt this cobalt blue from profusion yes also, I have this LA Girl. This is one of their neon shockwave liners, and this one is in the color electric. So, so pretty. Another one of my favorites to pop in my lower lash line whenever I want a serious pop of color. So, those eyeliners, if you're looking for blue, those will get you there. Um, I do. Oh, I have this cute little palette here. This is a glitter palette. So it has like blue and turquoise and silver and white. I got this at Beautycom. My girl Lily got this for me. Thank you, girl. I haven't used this yet and I am dying to use this. We swatched these when we were at the Pixie booth. And you guys, these glitters are so stinking pretty. If you like glitter, <laughs> you'll like these they look amazing on the eyes but i haven't used it yet i have to use this it's so so pretty also in the realm of glitter i have a couple of more that came from glittermyworld.com and i mean you guys know glitters will last forever but these are just a couple of the blue glitters that i have from glittermyworld.com this one is this one is moon river blue and this one is Cobalt Crush. This one is really, really pretty. So it's like they, they're they not that different, but there is a slight difference to them. I also have this gorgeous uh, navy blue colored like loose pigment from Foera. So, so pretty. This one I got off of AliExpress. It's called Lady Night. I don't reach for these that often though because they are loose pigments and you guys know loose pigments can be pretty messy and kind of hard to work with. So let me just see if I can get a swatch of a little bit of this for you. So as you can see, it's like a, a shimmery shade, like a navy blue shimmer. So that's what it will look like on your lid really really pretty gorgeous but this is what it looks like in the container and i will be playing with these more in the upcoming new year i'm telling you guys i'm going to be all up in my collection shopping my stash okay and lastly you guys i have three blue lipsticks um they're all by kiss these two are rk by kiss 
and this one is Kiss New York Professional. So I got these all from the beauty supply. <laughs> well, let me just go ahead and swatch them. I'll put the names on the screen because I can't read them. So this one is kind of like a, a serious teal blue. Very pretty. This one is just kind of like a basic, what is it, a sea blue? Just your basic blue. <laughs> your basic blue blue. And lastly, this one here is my absolute favorite because it's really deep and dark and vampy. You know, it's like cobalt blue, but when you put it on your lips, it looks really deep and dark and vampy. So those are my blue lipsticks. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> but I love all of them. They're really, really pretty. So that's it for my blue makeup collection, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me to see all of my blue palettes and honorable mention blue shadows as well as lipsticks and eyeliners and glitters and all that good stuff so hopefully you had a good time hanging out and enjoyed this collection video and i will see you on the next one toodles <laughs>